Cancer, this is now the fourth time I am trying to post this reading. So let's start again. Let's start again, okay? Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. <coughs> if you would like to check out my other channels, I have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, um, my main channel, Tarot of Light, <clears throat> and I have Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Uh, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two five-question readings on the first of every month. Hashtag reading to enter a chance to win, okay? Um, if you're looking to start your own tarot channel or if you're looking to learn how to read tarot, you could check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. If you would like to... Um, uh, check out my, if you'd like to book a reading with me, uh, the video, the video link on my website is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and Oracle decks, I do have spirit chill tarot and Oracle, which is buy one, get one free. And then I have Royal Rose tarot, which is currently 20% off. Okay. So cancer, good Lord. Okay. I mean, I went through that intro. This is like the fourth time. Um, all right, my loves, what are we grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. So my loves, let's get popping here. I've pulled your oracle already, spent some time meditating on it, and here's what I got. So Cancer, I feel like many of you are coming into this energy where you are separating yourself from very, and this could be one person or multiple people, but this reading does require a uh, we're focusing on multiple people, but there's one person that stands out in particular, okay? So there are people in your life that were extremely abusive, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, verbally abusive. These people were very self-absorbed. These people are very selfish, egotistical, greedy. These are the type of people that take and give nothing back other than headaches, despair, you name it, okay? <clears throat> I feel that cancer, <clears throat> the one person in particular that stands out is someone that you were dating at one point in time. Now this could have been a one night stand on your part. Okay. Or it could have been someone that you were dating that cheated on you. Okay. There was a one night stand that took place here, whether you were involved on in it <clears throat> or, or someone here cheated on you. Okay. This person that you had a one night stand with or that your person had a one night stand with was carrying a very negative energy with them. Okay. This is someone that carried a lot of secrets. This is someone that, um, messes with the wrong type of spirituality. Okay. Now your intuition when you had the one night stand with this person, you may have felt like something wasn't right with this individual or cancer. If your person cheated on you and had a one night stand intuitively, you knew that something about their energy felt different. Um, like if they cheated, came home to you and then a day or two later you had sex with this person, you may have noticed that you felt different because sex is the number one way to exchange energy. Okay. I feel that cancer, what happened here is, and this could have happened, this situation could have happened when you were 17, okay? It left some type of mark on you. It left some type of scar on you that puts you in this energy that you can't have what you want. You can't have, you know, with half empty here, there's an energy of, I'm never going to have the type of person I want. I'm undeserving of the love that I want. No one's going to love me because I'm unattractive. No one's going to love me because I'm not successful. No one's going to love me because I come from a broken family. No one's going to love me because I'm single and I've got five kids. Um, woe is me attitude, constantly stuck in victim mode. I'm never going to be able to have the things that I want. Your energy has been been extremely ungrounded since this event has taken place. Okay. So I feel that, um, what we have here is 
I got to be honest. I feel very strongly that you were with somebody and there was a third party that wanted your person and this person maybe cast some type of lust spell or something like that. They hooked up with your person one time. And again, this could be at any point in your life. This could be your first love interest when you were 16, 17 years old, or it could be the very last one that you were in. This could have happened at any point in your life, Cancer. The way you're going to know when this happened is after you slept with this person, after they cheated and you slept with this person, your life completely changed. Your mentality changed. You started to feel like you weren't good enough. You started to feel like you weren't having luck in love. You were starting to feel like people <clears throat> in love or friendships or family <coughs> started treating you differently. Okay. That's how you'll know who the person was. And it could be that one relationship where you thought this person never cheated on you one time. Okay. Um, but I feel that cancer, you are done feeling this way. You are rising up like a Phoenix here. This card literally says transforms after dark night of the soul, <clears throat> reborn from the ashes, focused determination for working on oneself. You're tired of sitting in this energy. You're about to rise up like a Phoenix. So because you've been sitting in this low vibrational energy, feeling that you are undeserving of love, feeling ungrounded, feeling that like, you know, um, maybe cause some of you had this broken bird issue where you only felt like you were good enough to be around people that were broken. And if you fix them, then they would love you. Um, some of you have been sitting in this energy where, you know, when it comes down to friends, family, love interests, you have to jump through hoops or prove your value. What is this fruit? I don't have any fruit in my house that's sitting out. I don't have anything that would cause a fruit fly. And every once in a while, there's one that just wants to be right here. I don't know. But anyways, so cancer, I feel that you have been attracting a tremendous amount of toxicity into your life because you have been sitting in a very, very, very toxic energy of maybe you've been praying or manifesting, but you don't even believe that you deserve those things. That's why your prayers and manifestations haven't come to fruition. You believe that you're not good enough to achieve anything. You, you've been stuck in this energy of believing that, you know, no one's ever going to love me. No one's ever going to be loyal to me. No one's ever going to be good to me. No one uh, is just ever going to love me because of me. No one's going to love me because I exist. I have to do things for people. I have to jump through hoops. I have to pay for people, you know, and you're coming out of that. You're, you're rising up like a Phoenix and you're breaking the cycle. You're separating yourself from all the abusive, nasty, selfish, broken people that you have brought into your life. Okay. <clears throat> With over it and tired of the drama, you're exhausted. You're exhausted. I feel that with sacrifice here, Cancer, you've been giving up everything that you have to please other people and getting nothing back except for being able to say, I have a man in my life. I have a girl in my life. Yeah, I have a friend in my life. Like you, you have been feeling that you have to drain yourself with energy, love, money, time, attention for the people around you just so that you're not alone. But that's ending cancer. You're distancing yourself from these people because you just can't do it anymore. You're feeling destroyed on the inside. You're feeling shattered. You're feeling heartbroken because when you deal with people like this cancer, okay, when you deal with people like this, they're not going to bring anything positive into your life. They're going to take from you. They're going to stab you in the back and they're going to walk away from you. And it's going to leave one scar after the other. Okay. It's going to leave one scar after the other. And you picked up this negative energy, either from a one night stand that you had or your person cheated since then, since then, and if you were in a romantic relationship, it's like you always lose your romantic person to third party energies. Okay. Or there's people that literally just come into your life to take what they can get. You will find that since you've this, since you've picked up this negative entity and it has been on you, 
you have been getting used and abused left and right from that point forward. And if you say, Gina, my gosh, I've been getting used and abused since I was 19. Okay, well, then it was your first love. It was the first person you were with, you know? Um, and I feel like you're coming into an energy where you're tired. You have nothing left to give. You are exhausted. You are on the floor. You are just done. There's just nothing left. And you're realizing that it's time to break the cycle. You are rising up like a phoenix here. You're removing all these people that you have attracted into your life <clears throat> because of this negative energy that has been attached to you. Now, you need to understand the way these negative entities work, Cancer, okay? Every time you attract a person into your life that just wants to use you and hurt you, that pain that that person caused that, that makes you fall, sink deeper into a uh, hopelessness and despair and pain and low self-esteem and low self-confidence. And you know, you're having anxiety and depression and you're on medications. These negative energies are having a field day. They feed off of your pain. They feed off of your suffering. They feed off of, you know, every, every wound they feed off of those wounds. And you're, you're, I don't know what is going to be the catalyst of this change for you. I don't know if some of you are just so exhausted that, you know, you're just done. Some of you may have went and had a Reiki cleansing done and it removed it from you. Some of you may have said a prayer. Some of you may have saged yourself the correct way. Some of you did want, you, you did something, something happened here to where you're like enough is enough. And I feel that by doing this cancer, you have, uh, you're, you're just rising up like a Phoenix. You're, you're getting away from this. Tell me about cancer here. We've got the five of wands and we've got the two of pentacles, the 10 of wands. So, and the justice card. So cancer, this is what your life has looked like. I want to picture you. Do you know those zombie movies when somebody is standing there and all the zombies go to grab at the person and they're just ripping and tearing at you. That's what your life has looked like where you have had so many people wanting your time, your attention, ripping at you, um, you know, uh, wanting to take your love, your money, wanting to take things from you. And, and you're just exhausted. You're just exhausted. I feel that cancer, you're coming into an energy of it's my turn now. You're entering into your, your bad bitch era, bad boy era. It, it's my turn now. I'm calling back everything I've put out there. All the love, all the money, all the attention, all everything. Everything I've lost, I'm calling it back to me. It's my turn now. Okay? With the Ten of Swords here and the King of Pentacles, Cancer, you are, something may hurt you really bad, and you're saying, I'm done. It's time for me to get grounded. It's time for me to take back control of my life. And making this decision, Cancer, is going to be life changing for you. Okay. This is a decision that once you make it, and again, you could have bought a crystal, you could have put a protection amulet on you. You could have, I don't know what the catalyst is, but there is a catalyst here where the worst is over and you're making a decision where with the 10 of pentacles and the three of pentacles, you're no longer focusing on people, places, and things that are a lost cause. You're only putting your time and energy into you know, in the Bible, there, and I'm with the seven of, sword, seven of pentacles here, especially, okay? In the Bible, whether you're Christian or not, it's a good concept, okay? There's something called the parable of the seeds, and it teaches us that where you plant your seeds is important. If you're planting your seeds on infertile soil, you're wasting your time. All that time and energy to plant these seeds, nothing is going to grow. Or if you're planting your seeds where there's thorns, and, and, and you know, maybe something will grow, but it's stuck, and it's distorted, and it can't grow, and it can't be healthy. You know, if you're, you need to make sure that you're taking your time and energy and putting it into fertile ground, you know, um, putting it in places where something is going to grow and it's going to bear good fruit and, you know, come tomorrow, you can reap the reward from it. 
and that is what you're calling into your life okay that is what you're calling into your life with the page of wands here and the five of swords and the nine of pentacles with the eight of cups cancer i feel that you are telling people where to go and how to get there you are literally fuck off is you're going to be about to be your favorite saying you see that corner it, oh you need something from me okay see that corner all the way down there i'm gonna need you to fuck all the way off all the way over there and get away from me with the nine of pentacles cancer you are only focusing on yourself if it doesn't make you happy if it doesn't make your soul feel good, if it doesn't, you know, make your pockets nice and fat, if it doesn't put a smile on your face, you're walking away from it with the eight of cups. You don't give a shit about nobody no more. You don't give a fuck about nobody's problems. You are walking away from everybody. And with the chariot here and the star card cancer, I feel that, um, making this decision is you're about to have the glow up of your life with that nine of pentacles. And, and I mean, I want you to think your first Oracle card that popped up was Phoenix rising. And here you have the star and the nine of pentacles. For those of you who do not know what the nine of pentacles is, it is someone that is single, someone that is independent, somebody who is financially and emotionally has their shit together, doesn't rely on anybody, doesn't need anybody. Someone that sits in a, in a ascended place where they're listening to their higher self. The star card talks about divine guidance. It talks about divine intervention. It talks about hope it talks about healing okay so cancer i feel like you're about to have all these people chasing after you and you're leaving everybody on red okay you're leaving everybody on red with the moon card and the temperance card what what's happening is these people are confused because they don't understand how unbothered you are you are so unbothered. Whereas there was a point where you would chase and run for these people because you felt so unworthy of love that you felt that the more you did for these people, the more they would love you. When these people didn't give a shit about you at all, when they didn't give a shit about you at all. Okay. Um, cancer, I, something is happening here. That's causing this catalyst. Maybe it's the eclipses that are coming up, or maybe you've just had enough. You've got nothing else to give. You're drained. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me more about cancer, please. So we've got the queen of wands and we've got the ace of cups. Cancer. Some of you are really focusing on loving yourself going to the gym, focusing on your looks, fo fo focusing on things that you are passionate about. You're falling in love with yourself and you're shutting the door on everybody. Okay. You're shutting the door on everybody with the five of cups and the nine of cups. You may have moments of feeling bad and guilty because you may have made certain promises to people. I'll always be there for you. Yada, yada, yada. But in the end, you'll turn around, pour yourself a glass of wine, pop open a beer or something and be like, you know what? Well, cheers. You know, to all the people who lied to me. God bless <laughs> you. Karma's a bitch, you know, like I, you're not really, you know, even if you have moments of feeling bad, you get over it very quickly. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands and the Fool card Cancer, you could be presented with a, a decision on traveling somewhere, moving to a different home. Um, it's like the world is your oyster here. Okay. And you're going to start to take your time to make decisions on what new beginnings you want for yourself, whether these are new hobbies, whether, um, you know, it, it's like, something here is breaking. A, a cycle is breaking. You're breaking a cycle and rising up like a phoenix. Okay. So I'm going to take this into the extended cancer and let's see where you go from here. You know, let's take a look at what's going to happen in love, what will happen for you in money and what spiritual messages we can get for you in the extended. Okay. The link will be in the description box below and in the comments section below. Um, I love you all so very much and I will see you guys there. Take care, my darlings.